Now let us learn about the reproduction through spores in non-flowering plants like mosses, ferns, cycars and pine. Non-flowering plants or cryptogams do not have separate structures like roots, shoot and leaves as in higher plants. Even plants like mosses, ferns, cycas and pine do not produce ordinary flowers. So they come under non-flowering plants. Reproduction in these non-flowering plants is carried on through spores. When conditions are not favorable, algae and fungi produce structures called spores. Spores are very small and microscopic structures. Each spore is covered by a thick protective coat. This protects the spore from unfavorable conditions such as extreme heat or cold. When conditions are favorable, spore develops into a new plant. The spore producing plant is called a sporophyte. In some plants, the parent plant produces male and female gametes. Such gamete producing plant is called gametophyte. These gametes fuse to produce a zygote. Now we will see how reproduction takes place in moss plant. Moss plant is bryophyte and generally found in damp places. The plant has a tiny stem like structure and a number of small leaves. Fine hair like structures called rhizoids fix the plant in the soil. The moss plant is a gametophyte. It has male and female sex organs. A cluster of leaves surround the sex organs and protect them. The sex organs produce male and female gametes. The fusion of gametes results in the formation of a zygote. This zygote develops into the asexual plant body. This plant has three parts, the foot, the seta and the capsule. The foot is embedded in the ground and absorbs food from it. The seta connects the capsule to the plant body. The seta conducts food from foot to the capsule. The capsule produces a large number of tiny spores. This part of the plant is called sporophyte. When the spores are mature, wind disperses spores. If the spores fall on moist places, each spore germinates to produce a green filament. This green filament prepares its own food. After some time, small buds appear on the branches. Each bud develops into a moss plant. A part of the stem called rhizome is inside the soil. The roots help to fix the plant and absorb nutrients. The upper part of the stem bears a number of leaves called fronds. A number of small brownish spots make their appearance on the lower side of the older leaves. These spots are called sori. The fronds bearing the sori are called sporophylls. Each sorus contains a number of small capsules called sporangia. The spores are produced in the sporangium. When ripe, the sporangium bursts, liberating spores which will be carried away by the wind. The spores are round and dark brown in color. When they fall on the moist ground, they germinate and give rise to green filaments. Each filament develops into a heart-shaped structure called prothallus. This is fixed to the soil with the help of rhizoids. It is a small independent plant. The prothallus contains male and female sex organs. So prothallus is the gametophyte of the fern plant. It produces male and female gametes. The male gametes are released into the surrounding water and the female gametes are fixed to the plant. The male and female gametes fuse to produce a zygote. This zygote develops and gives rise to young sporophyte. This later develops into a fern plant. 
Thus, in fern, a sporophyte alternates with a gametophyte. Through the above description, it is clear how reproduction takes place in non-flowering plants like mosses, ferns, cycas and pine.